In this video, we are going to put everything that we learned about blood flow together. This is a quick recap to ensure that you will continue to recall this information on quizzes or maybe even on your board exams. From the right atrium, our blood drop will travel through the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle. This blood drop is oxygen poor, so we know our goal is to get to the lungs. From the right ventricle, the myocardium will contract and eject us out through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary trunk. From here, we have a decision to make. Do we want to go to the right lung or the left lung? Let's go to the left. That seems fun. So we travel through the left pulmonary artery. It's important to note that arteries move blood away from the heart, while veins bring blood back to the heart which explains why, even though the pulmonary artery is an artery, it's carrying deoxygenated blood. After going into the left pulmonary artery, we branch and branch and branch until we reach the capillary network surrounding the alveoli in the lungs. Gas exchange is occurring, so we're picking up lots and lots of oxygen. As we come to the end of the pulmonary circuit, we make our way back to the heart via one of the left pulmonary veins. The pulmonary vein drops us off into the left atrium, from the left atrium, we'll pass through the mitral valve and into the left ventricle. As the left ventricle contracts, it generates enough pressure to force open the aortic valve and we escape the heart and enter the ascending aorta. We have made it to the systemic circuit where we will continue to make our way throughout the entire body before we return back to the heart. This hopefully should be easy by now. I mean, we've reviewed it twice already. You can do it. Thanks for watching. For more educational videos, subscribe to the West Coast University channel below.